This is Michelle from The Scattered Scrapper. Welcome to my channel. Today, I want to take you along with me as I decorate the cover of my October Daily Album. So, let's get started. Here I'm using the sizing template from the Creative Memories Circle Cutting Patterns to figure out what size circle I want to put behind my Boo banner. This is the, uh, some basil cardstock in Sour Lemon. And I'm going to cut this circle. I felt like my banner needed something a little bit more substantial behind it. So my idea was to cut out a circle and have it be like the moon. At first I thought, let's do it to the side and then maybe in the center. But no, I really liked it kind of off to the side looking like the rising full moon. I'm happy with the way that looks, so now I'm going to start gluing things down. And here I'm just using the Scotch, let's see, Scotch Create Tacky Glue. I find that at Walmart, Hobby Lobby, Michaels, just wherever glue is. And here I got this um, blinged out boo from Target. I don't shop a lot at Target. They don't really have a lot of stuff my style, but I thought that I would go in and check out their Halloween stuff this year. And I was excited to see um, these rhinestones, boo, and it came in a pack with some other rhinestones that in the orange and the green. And I want to use a lot of sparkly in my album this year, so I was excited to find that. So now I've got the boo on. And going to glue this down. I use some um, tape runner just to uh, tack down my banner so that it won't move on me and I'm going to use the tacky glue to glue it down tight to my moon. And I'm using uh, probably pro a little more glue than I normally would because I know it's going to be going on the outside of my book and I really want it to stick and stay put. Now I'm going to use a lot of glue all around. And then put it on to the front cover where I think it looks the best. And I'll press it down nice and tight. And the good thing about the um, tacky glue is it doesn't take too long to dry. Now I've decided to use this holographic Halloween um, October from the Hocus Pocus thickers that came with the Hey Pumpkin uh, collection from Crate Paper and also the Spellbound thickers that came with the collection. And I'm just going to spell out October daily. And I've got it on the wax paper so I can kind of move it around and see where I want to put it. And I thought maybe I would put October on the top and daily underneath the boo, but I really didn't like it apart. So I want to keep October and daily together. As per usual, now that I have the base down, I don't really know where I want to go. So you saw me looking through the cardstock stickers and here I'm looking through the little sticker book that came with the Hey Pumpkin collection and I'm just not really finding what I want to use. There's so many cute things though it's it's hard to decide. So I'm gonna go through the um, ephemera pack that came with the Hey Boo collection and I'm thinking maybe this Fright Night would look really cute and I really like the holographic spider webs. I think maybe this just add pumpkin spice would look really cute. I'm going through all oh, the happy Halloween could work. The bat, the bat is so cute. I like the little skeleton guy. I've got to use him. Maybe this house. I think maybe the house would look really cool with the moon rising up above the house. I pick out these stars. I do use all three of the stars. Put them all back into my little pumpkin head candy dish there that I have them stored in. So I'm going to try out this house and I really like the idea of having the look of the full moon rising behind the little haunted house 
but it's just too big for the for where I've got it situated and I didn't want to cut into it so I decided to do something different I'm trying the Fright Night trying to add pumpkin spice but I decide that the Happy Halloween is gonna look the best so I put that there and then a little bat goes well there and the stars I'm gonna just toss them around and then look at the puffy stickers these puffy stickers are adorable I want five more sheets of these puffy stickers they're so adorable so I put the jack-o'-lantern there and I'm trying out the house I'm still still thinking about that house I want the little haunted house on the front with the moon rising behind it but that one's just too small so I go with this little ghost instead especially since the book on the front says boo it's very appropriate to have a little ghosty flying by so now I'm going to decide where exactly I want to put my title so I start with the daily and put that on and then I'm putting October over the moon and just tucking the R into the wing of the bat there I think that um, that fits so well there but daily was a little too close for comfort so we're gonna move daily over and that is pretty much how it's going to be so now I want some more sparkle the boo is very sparkly but now I want some more so I go through some of the Halloween uh, sequin mixes that I got earlier this month from honeybee stamps and these uh, sequin mixes are adorable the one that I chose to use is called Fright Night, and it has these really cute little shapes in them. This is a cat, and I think it's supposed to be a little piece of candy. And last but not least, a skull and crossbones from Tim Holtz. So now it's time to glue everything down, and I'm back using the tacky glue. And I put down the stars, and a little bat, and I want to use quite a bit of glue. I want to make sure that it's stuck down nice and tight. So I get him and I tuck that R right into his little wing there. And then I, I don't rely on the sticky for the thickers, especially since it's on the outside of the book. I want to make sure it has a nice, uh, nice tight stick to it. I don't want them falling off. So I do struggle to get the C up so I can put the glue on it, but I know that uh, being on the front cover, they'll probably fall off eventually. So I'll go ahead and stick that down nice and tight, and then I'll skip over and do the Y from daily. And I decide I'm not going to use this glue for my sequins. I like to use the art glitter designer adhesive that dries clear that's what I have here and I'm going to use that to glue on all of my sequins I think it does a really good job of sticking sequins down to paper so I'm going to go through and glue all the little sequins down I, I picked out the green and the orange I thought the green and the orange really pop against the yellow and the black here and I also have just a couple of purple and yellow sequins on here and that's all I'm going to do for that and I noticed that I forgot to glue down my happy Halloween banner so I'm gonna put that down and the last thing I'm gonna glue down after this is I'm gonna make sure that the banner the, the big orange banner is glued at this corner here because I noticed it was sticking up so I glue that down and then the last thing I'm going to glue down is my skull and crossbones and I'm going to use that art glitter glue again for that and I'll just cover it all with the glue and that's going to do it thank you so much for watching this video I really hope that uh, you enjoyed watching me make the cover of my October daily. I hope that it inspires you to get crafty this uh, season and I will see you in the next video.
Bye-bye now.